startling numbers about a new superbug now spreading. It's one of our biggest fears when a loved one ends up in the hospital, the fear that they'll catch one of those infections that antibiotics can't fight. Well, tonight it's all hands on deck at several hospitals across this country to stop this from spreading. Yunji Denise is in Los Angeles, the hardest hit city so far. Yunji, good evening. Good evening, David. Health officials here in Los Angeles were stunned to find this brand new infection spreading. It is deadly and it is now surfacing across the country. And even our most powerful medicines like this Cipro are unable to stop it. It may be the most dangerous superbug to date, spreading through hospitals, nursing homes, and short-term care facilities. Officials in Southern California now identifying more than 350 cases, people becoming gravely ill from this new infection known as CRKP. Steve Winters knows just how powerful superbugs can be. He took his 80-year-old mother to the hospital for pneumonia. She was getting better. And two days later, I get a call saying that she's terminal. She had 10 different new infections, all caught in the hospital, which would eventually take her life. I've been telling her, you're going to live. She just looked away. There's really no words for that. So she knew she wasn't coming home. The new bug is even more vicious than the well-known MRSA bug, which has vexed hospitals for years. Spread by just a simple touch, CRKP works quickly, breaking down your immune system, allowing a host of infections to settle in. 40% of patients die within a month of becoming infected. Perhaps the most frightening aspect of the new bug, even the most powerful antibiotics aren't up to the job. Cipro, Zosin, and penicillin are all ineffective. There are not many treatment options available. The one that we have available to us is an older antibiotic that is not all that effective. And it is spreading. This virus and others like it have now been found in 35 states. Doctors at Wake Forest in North Carolina have been waging a life and death battle against it. The only way they've been able to turn the corner and reduce infections is by acting fast. Once identified, the patient should be placed in contact isolation, heightened attention to hand washing, and then prudent use of antibiotics. Now the CDC says there are potential drugs in the pipeline to help in this fight, but David, they say it will be years before they are available to patients.